Hey Macquarius, welcome. In these two matches, I will share with you the reasons behind my decisions Three, and why two, I think I could one, have done better. Go. Not only that, but you also see some Podgun Mlock gameplay. Let's go! Here, I was trying to surprise the enemy trying to rush that beacon. As you can see, I didn't miss him by much. After that, I proceed to help my team to get center. Unfortunately, I got targeted by the enemy seeker and I didn't react quick enough. Right after, I made my priority to take out the enemy seeker. Unfortunately, I lost my seeker doing this. Here is where I think I did a very poor decision. Instead of spawning Surge or Nomad to contest the center beacon, I wanted to try the M-Lock podgun. And I chose to fight a sniper in the open with a high time to kill weapon. And the result was the destruction of my mech without any meaningful contribution to my team. Maybe a bit later, but I took Nomad to do what should I have done before. I tried to take out the enemy supporters, preventing my team from getting center, and it went way better than I expected. But then again, Nomad has that cooldown modifier that makes him even more difficult to deal with. Unfortunately, as a result of letting the enemy snipers live for so long, they still have their surges and Nomads, and my team wasn't able to hold center for too long. Again, as a result of my poor decision with Mlock, I am left with such an offensive mech that now needs to be in the backline trying to support my team. As so, I stay here protecting the home beacon and trying to snipe anyone approaching center. Unfortunately, I didn't succeed. I tried to use Surge Stealth to make it more difficult for the enemy to hit me but due to my longer exposure, I managed to kill him, but I got killed in the process. And so, my contribution to the team ended here. To my surprise, they still had two nomads. Maybe they should have used them before. But now, they are facing the hard task of trying to get the center back with less mechs on the battlefield. There's one thing I think it's important to mention. We have a 5k player in our team. This gives us an additional disadvantage in these fights. Pablo tried to take out the mortars, which were giving us a harder time with lower numbers, but unfortunately didn't succeed. Here, Red, probably thinking that he needed to divide the enemy's attention, tried to get their own beacon. But NG1 has been doing an amazing job defending with his Orion Disc Launcher. Now, with an advantage of 4 against 2, the match was basically over. So, you think that a better decision making could have turned this battle around? I like know, one player cannot take the, f the blame for the overall team performance. But, I do think that your individual decisions can have a huge impact in your team's end result. Now, I have recorded another match. What other mistakes I did that costed me the match? Keep watching and let's find out what you can avoid in your own matches. Let's go! Here, with the same team, we face another players, some from the previous one and some new ones. I picked up Surge and went straight for the home base to cap it fast. I quickly tried to assess my team's position and who is my support. Then I went straight to try to help the center beacon. 
I waited a bit to see what the enemy is going to do. As I saw most of my team were in position, I went for the beacon and tried to act as decoy. I lost my search, but it worked in the end. As our team got control of center and the enemy was regrouping, I thought that spawning M-lock and try to place everyone trying to approach center was a good idea. Let's take a moment to appreciate these nice curve shots. The enemy team did a great group push here, and I did a big mistake. When the mortars came, instead of backing out, I ran straight to the enemy, facing all their firepower. As I was deciding which mech to spawn, I saw most of the enemy team on the right side and my team on the left side, so I spawned Panther to help them to get center. And here, another impactful mistake. Instead of keep going to the center, I decided to go to the tunnel. And in conjunction of bad timing and a nice play by John Wick, I lost another mech. And now, I did another big mistake. Enemy team had perfect control of center and sides, and were pushing for our own beacon. Instead of spawning the nomad and try to get that sniper on the tunnel, and maybe distract the enemy team, giving time to my team to regroup, I spawned Seeker. Another mistake was when Medusa was rushing at me, I should have used the Seeker ability to avoid rocket's damage and probably killing him. Now I'm on my last mech and that mech is Nomad. I saw Pablo capturing center and went for to help him. Now, with Nomad as my last mech, this probably wasn't the best decision either. What I should have done was first finish capturing the beacon and then retreat. That way I could still have a mech to defend the capture beacon a bit more. Here Sentry did an amazing job, stopping the enemy team and killing their mortars. It doesn't help that Pablo has a minigun 8 shadow, but in the end, what matters is that we are having fun anyway. Once again, because of me losing my max too fast, Red and Sentry did their best to help us win, but in the end it wasn't enough. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know in the comments what you think about it. If you enjoy it, don't forget to subscribe for more PvP gameplay and tips. Now, when I see a high competitive gameplay and try to figure out what you could have done better, see the next video. Thank you for watching, see you on the next one. Defeat.